Hello YouTube, it's me John Avenger once again and welcome to a, the last review of this series because I won't be reviewing Puss in Boots, I have not seen it yet. This is the fourth and final so far Shrek movie that I enjoyed. I know a lot of people said that this movie was forgettable. They said, oh, we didn't need it. I'm like, it was a, fun, a, a nice bookmark end to this franchise. Shrek Forever After. It's absolutely wonderful. I think it is. This is a really well done movie. The problems that were in the last movie, they fixed it with this one. Because there are a lot of characters, but I think it's it's got a much better villain, Rumpelstiltskin, who actually tricks Shrek, but in a way that's clever. It's not a villain that's a cartoon, no pun intended, but he's actually pretty good. I liked his voice. I liked his, you know, character. It was interesting. He wasn't some some freaking, you know, joke like uh, Prince Charming was in part three. And uh, yeah, I like the film, you know, the do the roar. This kid is, is hilarious. He sounds like Cartman from South Park. He's like, do the roar. I love you, daddy. <laughs> he sounds like, so like Cartman from South Park. It's just hilarious. And the cast comes back and it says, yeah, fun and feisty farewell. Yes, exactly. We don't need a fifth movie. Uh, Peter Travers said that from Rolling Stones. I agree with him. It's funny because it, it's basically if Shrek had, had signed his life away and it, well, what, what the changes that would happen to all of his friends and to Fiona and everything else. And the changes were interesting because you got Donkey is like some old scrappy donkey that doesn't know who Shrek is. And he's scared of Shrek. And then you have um, Puss becomes fat he, and lazy. He, you know, he gains a lot of weight. And then Fiona's part of this uh, group of like kind of like rebel, uh, sh uh, you know, ogres that you know live in the woods and they're you know kind of badass and that's pretty cool i like that they added more ogres it, it it pretty much brought um the film's full swing and i like that fiona was a badass they actually remembered what happened in the first movie when she was kicking the guy's asses and you know robin hood's uh, merry men that was cool i liked seeing a, a female kicking ass that i buy unlike nowadays where they fucking in the ass disney but i'm not gonna say that this is not about Disney. This is about DreamWorks' final Shrek movie. It's very funny. I laughed in the theater. When the scene when Donkey sees uh, the, the dragon, you know, in, in the alternate universe, and they sh they say, they uh, they sh uh, they put lay the song "Hello, is it me you're looking for?" That's a Lionel Richie song. It's very funny. I I like that song. I love old music. That's what these Shrek movies have done insanely well. They put some recent songs, but they also put very old songs popular songs that were back in the day that are really well done in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and it's really good stuff and uh, i like the characters i like the witches that they added um it's got an all-star voice cast um i forgot who played rumpelstiltskin but it, it's just a huge cast like if you haven't seen this movie watch it it's a fine farewell to the characters it's it's really entertaining it's short too it's only 93 minutes so it goes by real quick it's not painful and uh, I really enjoyed this film. I th I enjoyed this a lot more than Toy Story 3. I know I'm going to say it. Yes, I like Toy Story 3, but it's extremely overrated. And the movie got way too much praise. Best picture? No. Absolutely not. It's a good animated movie. It's a good sequel that ended the franchise. You don't need to say it's on a pedestal with the with, with one of the greatest movies I've ever made You know, of that year. I'm like, no. It's good for kids. It's not a great movie for adults all the time. This one I thought was a good movie for adults, and this got overlooked at the Oscars. It's a funny movie. It's very well animated. You know, DreamWorks knows what they're freaking doing. That's why these films were successful. I saw this at a hard time for me because that summer, my sister went through a, bi a big ordeal. I don't want to get into details, but it got me through that because, you know, I, I needed some laughs. When you're going through a hard time, laughter is the best medicine, and that's what this movie represents for me. And... I'm glad it came out in May. It didn't come out in the, like, the winter because, you know, it's hard to see animated movies in this winter because it's so cold. But anyway, it's a fun movie. And Shrek Forever After, it has a lot of... It does have some flaws in it. I think that some of the... They do a lot of retreads of the first film. Like, you know, uh, some characters get underused. Like the king and queen are only in a cameo in this, so they're kind of thrown away. And uh, Arthur doesn't come back from the third movie. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it was good that they wrapped up his story. He became king of Far, Far Away, but it sucks that, they, you know, uh, Justin Timberlake didn't come back to reprise his role. That would have been nice. But it does have a lot. This has a lot of fun to it. I think it's just as fun as the second movie, and it, it's it's better than the third movie, but it's still, I didn't hate the third movie. I think that's underrated, and this one also I liked. 
and it was a way it was a way to end the franchise without shoving it in our faces and it's it, you know the the babies were very cute uh Shrek's babies just like in the third one they got more screen time in this one and uh it was fun it's a good movie it definitely lives up to the first one and uh, is it the best sequel uh i think so cuz i like the second one but too many Brits and it kind of got on my nerves and the villain was, I was on, I, w I was on and off with her. The villain here is much better. He's crafty, he's sneaky, and he's actually really good. And I like his design. He has the face like Farquaad had in the first one. So this one's the closest to the first one you can, that you can get. Because it, it brings the characters full swing, it ties up all the loose ends, and it does it well. And, it, you know, it was very funny. And it didn't have too many characters like in the sec in the third movie. And I know some people on YouTube gave this a lot of flack, saying, this is a movie that should have never been made. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Have you seen Rio? Have you seen freaking El Dorado from the year 2000? Have you seen Astro Boy? That movie was god-awful. That's one of the worst animated movies I've ever seen. The animation was decent, but the movie had a story that I didn't give a shit about. This I did. I liked the characters. I was already invested. See, that's what happens with, with the sequel. If I'm invested in the characters and they do a good job, I'm going to praise it. hint to the hint, hint. Just uh, for, for any people out there. So Shrek Forever After is a good movie. The final chapter, yes. I, I don't need another one. I'm sorry. It's been too many years. It's been what? This was in 2010. Seven years. All they're going to do is do like I did with Dumb and Dumber 2 or Zoolander 2, it's not going to be funny anymore. The fart jokes are going to go over people's head. And Shrek, I don't know if he's even popular anymore. He's still a good character, but I don't think we need another film. I would I would rather see like an animated series or like, you know, like shorts, like they did with the Christmas special and all that. That's fine, but, you know, it's, it's done. We have four movies that were fun, and I'm glad with it being a quadrilogy. Sometimes you don't need to stretch out a franchise and milk it for all it's worth. Hintity hint hint. You know, but anyway, this is a good sequel. It ended it right. It was fun. It had a lot of heart to it as well. I forgot to mention that. The film has heart, especially at the end, and it was good. And it, it ended the franchise just fine. I don't need a fifth movie. And for what it's worth, this cast did a hell of a job. They did four freaking movies. Well, except for Banderas. He only did three. And then he did his own movie, which I don't care about because Shrek's not in it. But... It, they did a job. They did a bang-up job. All the movies were fun. I don't hate any of the sequels. And it, it, it ended on a high note. So that's all I need from a sequel. I don't need another one that's going to either retcon it or just make it final chapter my ass like they did with, with Saw, which we're getting another one. Yay. But anyway, watch Shrek Forever after the final chapter. It's worth your time. It's definitely a good sequel, considering some of the sequels we got that year or reboots. But yeah. I like Shrek Forever After. It's a really good movie. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'm going to do another review right after this. It'll be shorter of a film I saw in the 90s that has the word green in it. And uh, that'll be coming up next. So take care, and I will see you soon.